yeah, as you can see, so much tide running today. Rough ground, big tide, probably going to lose a lot. <laughs> but in amongst this rough ground on the back of the pier here, you've got the old, the old piers down. The foundations are still knocking about down there. And in amongst that, you can find some good fish sometimes. Just in front of it's a bit of sand. One of them is definitely on that. Uh, the the left-hand rod, the white tip. That will be on in the rough stuff. It's on a rotten bottom. So hopefully I might see a fish if I get that back. The right-hand rod, the red tip is just a single boom. Little squid and lug. Little mini rig. Sorry about the wind. The idea is hopefully to try and get a live bait off of that, or a pouting or a whiting. Whip that on to the bigger rod. Seems to be a preferred bait for many fish to be able to fish with what they're eating on, so whiting or pouting. That's the plan. You'll know, you probably can't see it from here, but I've got some tape around the top of the red tipped rod. I lost an eye on the way out the door earlier on. Don't know where it's gone. So I had to get inventive. With a couple of old rods in the garage just for tonight. It's on there, it's fine. It'll do. We're about an hour away from high tide now. It's, it's, been a, it's not been as bad as I thought it would be. There's been a fair bit of water coming over, but it's nothing, nothing really serious yet. But it's all to play for over the next two hours, really. Short session tonight. Been down on the uh, lower part of the pier earlier, though, over low tide today, having a play for some mini species. But they were not in a playing mood, not even a little bit. So I thought, I'll go home, switch the big rods, use up the bait I've got, a little bit of black lug that someone kindly gave me earlier on. Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, a bit of squid, a couple of anchovies. I don't, I'm not, I don't like going home with bait in me bag. It's like when you open a bottle of wine, you know, it needs to be drank, doesn't it? So I feel the same way about bait. Bait, bait doesn't come home with me. I'd rather just fish it. I'm not holding out a great deal of hope for tonight. Today's fishing was so poor. Uh, you, can tell, you can sometimes tell in the day what the night's going to be like, but I'm a man who lives with hope in his heart constantly. So, uh, yeah. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed.
Yeah, the red tip rod with the scratching rig, I mean that's that's normally working hard that rod, that's in and out constantly. But not today. Today it seems to be big baits that seem to have got any attention at all out of the two. I guess with this amount of water movement, any small bait the uh, the scent is gonna get washed into insignificance fairly quickly I reckon it's just a howling amount of tide today so yeah small baits don't seem to be the one big baits for the win see that white tip rod get arched come on Definitely something taken from some interest in it, that's for sure. wind is probably quite loud in the mic, I don't know how it's going, I'll find out in a bit. I have put a cut up orange pom pom on the uh, end of the camera, I don't know if it's going to help or not, hopefully, can't make it worse surely, uh, so we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, I believe it's called a dead cat if you want to buy them online, which is a harrowing search. If, you, uh, if you're looking for one, don't use Google Images. That's all I can say. If you like, if you like animals, we might have some action on the big rod. Just as I was turning around to bait up like normal.
Well, that wasn't much fun with <laughs> on your own with no drop net. Let's go and have a little peek what we got here. That was a struggle, but we are on what looks to me like a double figure bull hoss. So that. That is a good fish to end the night on. If I don't get any others than that one, I'm fairly happy. I'll get them weighed up in a second, but we're looking at, if that's not 10 pound plus, I'd be surprised. That's a good solid 10, I reckon. Right, I'm gonna get this one unhooked, get him weighed, okay. get him back. Get this powered on, and let's see what we're up to. Five point just under five point seven kilos, which I'm pretty sure is definitely over ten pounds. That's set there now, that's okay. But a monster of a fish, absolute beaut. That's probably my PB Shore Hus for a while. Unstrapped. Got him on a tail rope for weighing. I don't really like gill weighing, but yeah, we've got her. We've got a solid. No weight on there now. It's settled down on a hold at 5.68. So that's good. Okay. Right, all unhooked. Absolute beauty. I'll do the numbers on it in a minute, but absolute beauty. This one needs to go back quickly. So, let's get this one back. It looks like a long drop, but it's about eight feet, nine feet down there. It's pretty high tide at the moment, so it's a very small drop. What a fish. What a fish. PB Hus, I think, from the shore. If that's 12 plus, that's I'm going to be getting on for 13 pound. That might be my PB. I think we're up about the 12 four mark. So I'll do some number crunching in a bit. But I am buzzing. If you're going to get one fish for one night, then I'm happy if it's that one. Thanks for watching Elfle Kim Fishing. Give us a like and a subscribe. Keep your well I'll just keep fishing and I'll keep showing you what's going on. Hopefully we can get a few more out. There'll be a boat trip coming up soon. Keep your eye on that and the catching cooks are incoming. Just waiting for a little bit better weather. But yeah, like and subscribe.